But this is like Attila the Hun if he were a Hell's Angel or something. Because <laughs> it's the vibe I'm getting. It's awesome. Skull, everybody. And welcome back to another video. I've heard you. I really have. I know that this very song, this very band has been mentioned, requested since I started this channel. Which is, I think, two years ago now. Maybe a little bit more, actually. But I never got around to it. And to be honest, I don't know why. Because it's apparently very different from what you uh, think of when you hear metal band. Because I think, I'm not sure, I think they were Mongolian. What people have mentioned. And it's not very traditional metal. So... Look at me and uh, I'm curious. Yeah, so that's what we're going for right now. We're going for Wolf Totem by The Who, the official music video. I did see there was one other with a, a Papa Roach uh, kind of flair to it, but we're not going for that one as of yet because I want to have the original first. I'm feeling that will be different. So we're going for the original right now. Off we go. Ooh, that's cool. The Who Band. Okay. Like the style. Fenrir! Has to be Mongolian. It's very quiet! We go from horse to a steel horse. Oh, look at that sight. Love it. Solid bass line. singing I don't know where to go back to because I obviously understand nothing of this but this is like Attila the Hun if he were a hell's angel or something because <laughs> it's the vibe I'm getting it's awesome I, I love the instrument by the way I, I did notice there's a I don't even know if the original is called the swastika. Is that a swastika, the original? Like, the the good version? The, the not mangled version of the... What somebody else used? This Austrian-German guy? Like, a few years ago? Um, I noticed that was on there as well. So that's kind of cool to, to see that actually being used in a proper context, right? I like that. 
I'm I'm going back X amount because I stopped and talked and interrupted the song. So, but I don't know where to go to. I, lo- I love it so far. It's indeed very different, and I, I think that's that's throat singing that I heard just now. Might just be, I don't know. Fuck it, let's listen. evil and i love it <laughs> it's probably not i don't know <laughs> because i still don't know what he's singing but it almost sounds like it has an evil flair to it i that's uh, i have to say i love the fact that they combine like the old with the new both singing and instruments as well i think because those are not like violins violins as we know them so are these traditional instruments does anybody know by all means let me know right I, i'm not the guy that is asking for comments just to get comments because I just want to know is this are these traditional instruments aside from them singing tra- traditionally and I think this is not just one guy throat singing by the way I, I feel that there's several people layering up there's this throat singing and there's the background vocals by I think the people behind them I'm not sure about that but so there's normal low singing and the throat singing and I think the throat singing is several people Loving it so far. Can't understand the words, so I have no idea what this is about. And usually I go by emotion, so what do I feel this is about? No, can't. Nope, nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I think I at least I get a sense of what this is about more after the video. Sorry for interrupting.
Oh, that's almost eerie. There are some important things that I think from Mon Mongolian lore. Let's call it lore. I don't know what else, what word to use for this. I think I know. I think I know. I think I know. Because if you're thinking about a wolf, a wolf pack, we hunt as a pack. We hunt as brothers. We have strength in numbers. We are connected. The brotherhood. Power. I, I feel that this is sort of the, the, the gist of this song. Like the wolf pack, the brotherhood, the power uh, as a group, as as a whole, connected with nature, connected as a, as a, as a group, as a pack. As a, I, I feel we're sort of leaning towards that in the way that a wolf would be connected to his surroundings, his pack, his, his everything, and that gives him power as well. I think that's where we're going with this. I am not sure because, as I said, I don't understand one single word, obviously, and I think most reactors won't understand a single word of this. Um, so do you, you let me know if you know what this is about. If I'm sort of correct or if I'm completely wrong, let me know because, eh? <laughs> that's what I'm getting from this. And I don't think I can give you any other commentary than that because it's really hard if you don't understand the language. <laughs> I, d I do love the fact that they, they actually took the, like the old and, and just interwoven that into something new that speaks to people from all over the world, apparently. So I like that a lot. I, I think that's the way to go forward with ancient things like this. To have it find a place in the new, right? In the current time, in the modern world. I like that. Keep it alive. Right? Traditions, old instruments, and, and just, just just like old languages, right? When you think of movies like like the Disney movie Moana, where there's an actual language that is spoken by very few people in that video. So you keep they're keeping it alive through like a Disney movie. I kinda like that, even though me and Disney don't don't go well together lately. So just they're doing weird stuff. But hey, let's stop talking about Disney and let's talk about The Who. I loved it and I could listen to this. So it, it will make a playlist. I don't know which one yet, but it will make a playlist. So this will be listened to more often. Um, and I want to hear more. So that's going to happen. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then by all means, please like, subscribe and get notified for the next video. And now... Only one more thing to say. Viking out. Peace.